two to shoot. Lawawo Cabarro. Foul is called. John Morant has hopped to the bench area for Memphis. More against Olenek, a couple of Gonzaga guys. Hachimura to the hoop. Adebayo came over, got a piece of it. What happened right here, as you see, oh, it's the ankle. And I, I don't know if that's the same ankle he turned. Thomas Bryant being looked at right now, not even two minutes into this game. Not enough time built in for the help to help that helper. CJ slicing and dicing. CJ trying to work things off. What's good, What's good people? people? Back with me, Paul Istio. And me, Clayton Tio. Today, we're going to show you how to deal with an ankle sprain, a knee sprain, or other kinds of injuries. So if you notice, we have a different background. We haven't been in this background for a long time, or we've never been in this background. We have. I don't know, uh, because we have been doing a lot of vlogs and basketball outside. trainings lately, outside. So there, this background is not, it's not, it's not there. So why are we delivering this kind of material today about the ankle sprain and stuff? It's because last two days, I sprained my ankle and it's really bad and that time I can't walk. But after this treatment, I'm recovering and recovering. So now I can walk a little bit, you know, but it still hurts, but it's still in a recovering process. So what should we do if we get these kind of injuries? You ask, we should do RICE, R-I-C-E. So for the first one, it's R. R is for rest. So whenever you get injured, for example, in a basketball game or in any other activities, just stop what you're doing and stop continuing your workout. So the next thing you need to do starts with an I. It's um, ice. Well, well, not ice cream, but then ice. Yeah, this works too anyway. So we're just going to put the ice on, the, where, on where it swells, on where it hurts. And you can put the ice on where it hurts, but don't forget to use some something like a towel uh, to cover to separate the ice from your skin, so your skin don't burn because the ice is uh, too cold. You can um, put the ice uh, on where it swells uh, for 15 minutes with a one-hour interval. The ice helps reduce the inflammation and also the pain. So the third one is C, which is for compression. So this is one of the things that you can use to compress your. Uh, injured parts for example your foot or your hand so compression is used to reduce your inflammation in where it swells and also you can use it to by wrapping around it to your body for example in your hand you can wrap it around your hand but remember don't let it disturb the blood flow so the e is for elevation to do this uh, put the injured part uh, higher than your heart uh, you can do this using a pillow or anything all right, so after all the things and all the steps, which is rice, you can check to a doctor or a physiotherapist and remember to keep following what they say because they know what happened to your major part. Thank you guys for watching this video about how to deal with injuries. Don't forget to remember rice, R is for rest, I is for ice, C is for compression, and E is for elevation. And how to avoid these steps and also avoid injury, we're going to tell you in the next next video or like in the future. And we need to prevent it and don't forget to stay safe while you're exercising. Don't forget to drop a like on this video and don't forget to uh, comment down below the injuries that you've experienced. And press that subscribe button of course and that little notification bell so you got notified for every video that we'll be posting every Friday 5 p.m. GMT plus 7. Thank you guys for watching. Stay lit, people. Uh, so the E is for elevation. <laughs> oh my God.